Hi, this is Harun Kwadal. Today we're going to talk about Qigong exercises for anxiety and depression. So we're going to go over a couple exercises and chant. We're going to talk about some specific acupoints that you can work on and meridians on the body and it will help with anxiety and depression. So we'll start with this one. Tongue to the roof of the mouth helps to circulate chi in the body better. Working on the kidney meridian, kidney 27, lung 1, lung 1, kidney 27. I, I tend to hit a little higher <laughs> on the lung 1, but the letting go point. Metal, this is water, this is metal, this is earth, GB21 up here. Slow down a little bit. Breathe up. Tongue to the roof of the mouth helps the chi to circulate through the body better. It's just like you're a baby. Babies have their tongues to the roof of their mouth. Feel the heart opening. And then close down. So you want to get bow legged. You want to get bow legged. So inward with your knees like this. So you go, then you come up. And then you open. Like a great flower blossoming. Feel the expansion in your chest. And then when you come down, bow legged again, inward legged or whatever you want to call it. It's like the seed going under the Mother Earth. And then you come up and blossoming like a flower. Opening up. This works with the Dumai and Renmai meridians. The Dumai comes up the back to the roof of the mouth. And then the Renmai, now that's going up the Renmai, up the front, the Renmai, to the, and then all the energy field, the energy going to the back of the face, from the face to the one point right behind the skull. Now you come down, and it works with the Dumai, coming up the back to the roof of the mouth, tongue to the roof of the mouth. And then you go up the Renmai. Oh. Now we're going to lead the chi to the palms. This is working with the pericardium. Shifting the weight back and forth. Shifting your sit spot back and forth. Whatever works for you. Standing, sitting. <clears throat> and it opens up the triple warmer channel. Triple warmer. That's the sixth unclassified organ. The cooling off of the head and heart. Warming up of the abdomen. And the cool out the feet. Heart and small intestine, and the connecting to the fire element. South, good for the body. This is where the imbalance and the heart, and the mental health, really lies. The concept of Shen, which is our spirit, nourishing the heart. This is when we will chant for the fire element. <coughs> Keep this energy going. Take a dig. Inhale. Z H E N G. Jeng. Jeng. Z H E N G. Jeng. Jeng. Do two more times, following with the energy. Inhale. Yeah. Yeah.
up and do it one more time. Inhale. Jai. Gonna come back to stillness. Down throat, your nose, connecting the sun and the moon. Divine feminine, sacred masculine, non duality, connecting the mind, body, and spirit. Spirit connects. Accept, let go, and be in the moment. Letting go to all things, you become one with the 10,000 things. Keep you calm and put your hands to your chest to keep you calm. Focus on the middle dantian, the heart chakra. Breathe into your chest. Feel the rise and fall of each breath. Connect with your heartbeat. Feel the energy rising up through your fingers. Take it a step further. It's an acupoint here. CV17, conception vessel 17. Take your thumb and you find at your sternum, there's a little divot there. So not all the way down here. Getting closer to the diaphragm and the stomach, but up here right in the center. Sea of tranquility. And you'll Find a little divot. So take your thumb, gently rock clockwise. And then counterclockwise. This is on the conception vessel called CV17, Sea of Tranquility. Very supporting for the heart. Calming energy. Find a little divot in there. Work it with another finger. Feel more comfortable. I usually like the thumb. Gently rocked with your hand. Clockwise and counterclockwise. You can do it for, for a few seconds. Be very supportive. Next point is gallbladder 13, right about at the hairline. It's where the frontal lobe leads, meets the temporal lobe. So you can have horns on your head. Gallbladder 13. This is Mass point for anxiety, depression, memory, focus, monkey mind. Helps with the monkey mind. ADHD, people who helps with that. Just below is the GB40. It's also simple. <laughs> Sorry. Make a little hammer with your fingers. Gallbladder, GB, GB13. Rhythmic nature, very calming as well. Tapping. You 
can even say an affirmation. Even though I'm experiencing anxiety, I feel complete love and accept myself. You know, when I'm experiencing depression, deeply and completely, I love and accept myself. That one can be really helpful. Especially if you're having a panic attack, always remember the gallbladder 13. Right? My hairline is a little bit not, is, is a little seating. <laughs> right where the horns come out. Little divot right at the wrist. So it's on the pinky side, right where the wrist meets the arm. You'll find a little divot in there. Heart 7. Oh, heart 7. Because heart 7 and level 13, like I said, opens up the heart chakra before earlier. As is heart seven. It helps us with broken heart, any balance of the heart, heart palpitations. It helps with sadness, grief. Which are very often can be a very underlying cause for anxiety or depression. So we do both sides, find it on this side, pinky side. Heart seven, find that divot, bottom of the hand, right at the wrist. Where is the spot? There it is. Gently dig in with your thumb for a few seconds. Breathe. Tongue to the roof of the mouth helps the chi circulate better. Deep belly breathing. Right at the level of level two, bit up on the hairline on the right side, dig in with your thumb. The side of the spine, the right side in particular, helps to release past trauma, stuck emotions. So this one, dig right there, dig with your knuckle, C1 is right at the top, C1, but this one that I've been digging is the GV20, helps release, releases the past, any stuck emotions, CV-17 on your sternum. Sternum goes from here to here. CV-17, sea of tranquility is around here, goes across. Gallbladder 13, like you have horns on your head. At the hairline, 7, heart 7 at the wrist. C2, C2 right in the center, right underneath there. And GB20, good for releasing the past and trauma. Like right, right about there. I want to show you, tell you about a couple of essential oils that you can use. Lavender, which is for its calming energy. That's a really good one. And then I want to show you... Then Oxalum is the number one essence for anxiety. It can literally stop the help of panic attack. And cedar wood is super grounding, grounding into the heart. Because often you have anxiety, you want a calming, 
calm things down, visualizing that, grounding energy to the earth. San Oxenum and Cedarwood is two very good ones for grounding and, and getting rid of anxiety. Musty, smoky of cedar and that sharp, powerful San Oxenum helping to support you. So those are some tools which can help with anxiety and depression. So you can do some of the Qigong exercises to the Taoist chant, Zheng, Zheng, to open up the heart, Z-H-E-N-G, to open up those four occupied heart seven, called bladder 13, CV-17, C2, and GB-20, or cedarwood, xanthoxylum, cedarwood, or lavender. I am centered. I am in truth and peace. Come from that wonderful, caring spot of your heart. Stay centered and love who you are. Know that you really are divine, magnificent expression of life. No matter what is going on out there in your centered, you will have a right to your feelings. You have a right to your opinions. You just are. Work on loving yourself. Work on opening your heart. Sometimes it's scary to do that because the answers you get inside may be quite different from the ones your friends want you to do. But you know inwardly what is right for you. And if you follow this inner wisdom, you are at peace with your own being. Support yourself in making the right choices for yourself. When you are in doubt, ask yourself, am I coming from the loving space of my heart? And this decision which is nurturing for me, is this right for me now? The decision you make will come to a point a day, a week, or a month later. It may no longer be the right choice, and you can change it. Ask in every moment, is this right for me? And say, I love myself, and I am making the right choices. Take those words into your heart. May you find peace for the rest of your day. Namaste. Namaskar.